Hello class. Today we will be drawing uh, anything that you want, but it has to be with the intention to give to someone else. You will need different colors of paper if you have that. If you only have white paper, that's okay. So take out a piece of paper or take out different pieces of paper that you'll be using. Take out a pair of scissors. If you don't have scissors, you can just tear your paper. You can tear it and make different types of paper tears. Please take out a glue stick. or glue or you can use a stapler or if you don't have a glue stick or glue guess what it's okay you may use pencil and various markers i'll be using an ultra fine sharpie ultra fine in the color maroon or plum i'll be using a fine point regular sharpie to do some drawing maybe some hearts and maybe some thought bubbles that i'll fill with words and then i may use a pencil i'm not sure so to begin i know i'm going to use a card shape and i think i want this paper to be the card i'm not sure if i'm gonna you can start now at the end of class, please have at least one message or one card or a sign or some kind of note or some kind of document that you create that you can give to someone with thoughts of someone else as you're working. So right now I'm not thinking about anybody else, but I am thinking about making a nice design with the paper that I have. If you don't have different colors of paper, it's okay. Use what you have. I have a red, I have a, uh, some kind of pink here, and then another kind of pink. Sometimes it's called hot pink or electric pink. I'm actually cutting out a heart shape now. Do not spill any specks of paper on the floor. Do not let your paper be scattered. Make sure it's always in one pile. If your paper is square, your pile should be square. It shouldn't be like this. It should be in an even pile. Let's see which artists have the neatest working space where everything is exactly where they want it to be. Dojo points for the people that have their legs in front of their chair. I see some people already writing messages on their card or note. You may make many different cards or notes. Only using the supplies that you have in front of you. Um, let's see. I'm going to put um Happy Valentine's Day to someone special. I'm running out of space here, so I'm just going to get smaller with my lettering and use capital letters. See what I did to fit it there? Happy Valentine's Day. And then on the back. I can say um, to someone special.
to someone special. I know that my camera's backwards. I'm videoing with the selfie part of the camera because the other side of my camera is broken. You can add any words that you want to add. I'm gonna move on to making another one. So spend the class time today making different messages or designs using scissors, glue, and markers. Right now, all voices are off. When we share our work, you can talk about the supplies that you used. You can talk about the supplies that you used. I'm cutting out, I wanna, I should be cutting out hearts, but I just cut out a circle. Now I'm gonna cut out another circle. So keep working on your work. We're gonna stop at some point and listen to a special Valentine's Day story. Right now I am cutting out a spiral by turning and turning and turning this circle as I'm cutting it. Turning it. And I made this this spiral that I'm going to use to add some dimension dimensionality to my work it's going to look 3D I guess I'll put it on the circle. And I guess I'll glue the circle there in the corner. Maybe I can make a whole bunch of these now. Raise your hand if you ever ever made a pop-up card or you ever bought bought one or a book you like pop-up books that open and things jump out you guys know about pop-up books raise your hand I, I didn't ask anybody to say anything just raise your hand we're not bothering anyone whose scissors are making too much noise nobody's who's bothering the people next to them no one it's almost time for us to share our work can't wait to see whether everyone made. What if someone has a surprise and they don't want to share it? You don't have to share only if you want to share what you made. You'll talk about the supplies that you used. We use mixed media, many different supplies. This is already the color of my background paper, so I'm not gonna use that. I'm just using the red and the darker pink. Now, if you don't have scissors, it's all right to tear things. So what I'm doing now is I'm being a little bit more rough with my scissors. And I just thought I wish I could put these scissors down and start tearing things and have more natural tears in my work instead of these precise cuts and I'm just gonna glue this down somewhere This one's gonna come off the paper a little bit. It's like I'm making an abstract composition out of paper trimmings. And then I just folded this side up to make a crease so it'll stand up. 
folded it back. So I think I'm just going to put Happy Valentine's Day on here and call it a day. Happy. Valentine's. Day. And then I'm just going to put 2022. So that can be another one that I can give to someone. Can write things on the other side. Can glue another piece of paper on the other side to make it thicker and then so the marker doesn't go through. Okay, keep finishing up your Valentine's Day cards and we'll share our work after we listen to some information that we need to know. All voices are off. You might be looking around and seeing other people's work that they may share. We might have an art gallery exhibit show. Thanks for your time and maturity. Dojo points for the smartest artist. If you are virtual and you're ready to share, raise your hand in Zoom. If you are in the classroom and you're ready to share or ready for art gallery exhibit show, please show that you're ready with folded hands and a clear working space. If your working space is not clear, make sure everything is organized and you will be invited to the art gallery exhibit show if you want to participate. Thank you.